Welcome to Passion Travel. Join us as we explore fascinating destinations, uncover hidden gems, and embark on unforgettable journeys. Subscribe now and ignite your passion for travel. Gourmet Hot Dogs, unique Irish-style sausages topped with sauerkraut or pickles. Gourmet Hot Dogs that combines classic flavors with a few elegant twists. Ingredients For the Hot Dogs For large, high-quality hot dog sausages, e.g., beef, pork, or vegetarian sausages. For gourmet hot dog buns, brioche or pretzel buns work well. 2 tablespoons butter, melted, for toasting buns. A quarter cup caramelized onions. A quarter cup pickled jalapenos, optional for heat. For toppings. A quarter cup crumbled blue cheese, or shredded smoked cheddar, choose one, or offer both. A quarter cup crispy fried onions. A quarter cup arugula, or microgreens for freshness. A quarter cup diced tomatoes, or roasted red peppers, optional. For gourmet sauces. Truffle mayo, a quarter cup mayonnaise, plus one teaspoon truffle oil. Dijon mustard or honey mustard, for a mild sweetness. Instructions. Prepare the hot dog buns. Brush the buns lightly with melted butter and toast them on a skillet or grill over medium heat until golden brown. Set aside. Cook the sausages. Grill or pan fry the sausages over medium heat for about 5 to 7 minutes turning occasionally until evenly browned and cooked through. For extra flavor, baste with a little butter during the last minute of cooking. Assemble the hot dogs. Place the grilled sausage inside each toasted bun. Add caramelized onions and pickled jalapenos, if desired, on top of the sausage. Drizzle truffle mayo and a little Dijon mustard. Add toppings. Sprinkle with blue cheese or smoked cheddar and add crispy fried onions for texture. Top with arugula or microgreens for freshness. For a pop of color, add a few diced tomatoes or roasted red peppers if desired. Serve. Serve immediately while the hot dogs are warm, with extra sauces on the side. Enjoy these hot dogs, packed with flavors that elevate the classic street food to a gourmet experience. Mini Lamb Burgers, Local Lamb Patties with Mint Yogurt Dressing. Mini lamb burgers that's packed with flavor and makes an excellent appetizer or party dish. Ingredients For the lamb patties 500 g ground lamb A quarter cup finely chopped red onion 2 cloves garlic, minced 1 tablespoon fresh mint, finely chopped 1 tablespoon fresh parsley, finely chopped 1 half TSP ground cumin 1 half TSP ground coriander. Salt and pepper, to taste. For the yogurt sauce. Half a cup Greek yogurt. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 1 tablespoon fresh dill or mint, chopped. Salt and pepper, to taste. To serve. Mini burger buns or slider buns. Fresh arugula or baby spinach. Sliced cucumber or pickles. Sliced red onion. Instructions. Prepare the yogurt sauce. In a small bowl, mix together Greek yogurt, lemon juice, chopped dill or mint, salt, and pepper. Set aside in the refrigerator to chill. Make the lamb patties. In a large bowl, combine the ground lamb, red onion, garlic, mint, parsley, cumin, coriander, salt, and pepper. Mix gently until just combined, avoiding overmixing for a tender patty. Form the patties. Divide the mixture into 8 to 10 small, even portions, and shape them into mini patties about half an inch thick. Cook the patties. Heat a grill or skillet over medium-high heat. Cook each patty for about 3 to 4 minutes per side, or until they reach your desired level of doneness. Assemble the mini burgers. Toast the mini buns lightly. Spread a dollop of yogurt sauce on the bottom half of each bun, then place a lamb patty on top. Add arugula, sliced cucumber, and red onion, and finish with the top bun. Serve. Serve warm with extra yogurt sauce on the side. These mini lamb burgers are juicy, flavorful, and perfect for gatherings or as an appetizer.
Enjoy. Loaded nachos, tortilla chips topped with cheese, jalapenos, and guac. Loaded nachos, a crowd pleaser for any gathering. Ingredients. For the nachos. One large bag of tortilla chips. One cup shredded cheddar cheese. One cup shredded Monterey Jack cheese, or any preferred melting cheese. One cup cooked ground beef or shredded chicken, optional, for meat lovers. Half a cup black beans, rinsed and drained. Half a cup corn kernels, fresh, frozen, or canned. A quarter cup sliced jalapenos, pickled or fresh. A quarter cup sliced black olives, optional. A quarter cup diced red onion. For toppings. Half a cup diced tomatoes. A quarter cup chopped green onions. A quarter cup chopped cilantro. Half a cup guacamole or sliced avocado. Half a cup sour cream. Lime wedges for serving. Instructions. Prepare the oven. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius. Layer the nachos. Spread half of the tortilla chips evenly on a large baking sheet or an oven-safe dish. Layer with half of the shredded cheeses, ground beef or chicken, black beans, corn, jalapenos, olives, and red onion. Add another layer of tortilla chips and repeat with the remaining cheese and toppings. Bake the nachos. Place in the oven and bake for 10 to 12 minutes, or until the cheese is melted and bubbly. Add fresh toppings. Remove the nachos from the oven and sprinkle with diced tomatoes, green onions, and cilantro. Serve. Add dollops of guacamole and sour cream on top, or serve them on the side. Garnish with lime wedges for an extra squeeze of freshness. Enjoy these loaded nachos warm, with all the gooey cheese and fresh toppings. Perfect for sharing. Spiced chicken kebabs, with Irish herbs and yogurt-based sauces. Spiced chicken kebabs that are flavorful, tender, and perfect for grilling or roasting. Ingredients. For the chicken marinade. 500g boneless chicken thighs or breasts, cut into 1-inch cubes. Half a cup Greek yogurt. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 1 tablespoon fresh ginger, grated. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon ground coriander. 1 teaspoon smoked paprika. Half a teaspoon turmeric powder. Half a teaspoon cayenne pepper, optional, for heat. Salt and pepper, to taste. To serve. Fresh pita or naan bread. Sliced red onion. Fresh lemon wedges. Chopped parsley or cilantro. Tzatziki or garlic yogurt sauce, optional. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a large bowl, combine the Greek yogurt, olive oil, minced garlic, lemon juice, grated ginger, cumin, coriander, smoked paprika, turmeric, cayenne, if using, salt, and pepper. Mix well. Marinate the chicken. Add the chicken pieces to the marinade, making sure each piece is well coated. Cover and refrigerate for at least one hour, or for maximum flavor, marinate for up to eight hours. Skewer the chicken. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for about 30 minutes to prevent burning. Thread the marinated chicken pieces onto the skewers. Cook the kebabs. For grilling, Preheat the grill to medium-high heat. Grill the kebabs for 10 to 12 minutes, turning occasionally until the chicken is cooked through and has a slight char. For oven baking, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit 200 degrees Celsius and place the kebabs on a lined baking sheet. Bake for 15 to 18 minutes, or until fully cooked, finishing with a few minutes under the broiler for extra color. Serve. Serve the kebabs warm with pita or naan, sliced red onions, fresh lemon wedges, and a sprinkle of parsley or cilantro. Optionally, add a side of tzatziki or garlic yogurt sauce. These spiced chicken kebabs are perfect for gatherings or weeknight dinners, and they're deliciously fragrant with warm spices and fresh flavors. Thai green curry, aromatic and flavorful, often served with sticky rice.
Thai green curry that's aromatic, creamy, and bursting with authentic flavors. Ingredients For the green curry paste, optional if you want to make it fresh, otherwise, use store-bought. 1 tablespoon coriander seeds. 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. 1 to 2 green chilies, chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 shallot, chopped. 1 stalk lemongrass, minced, only the white part. 1 inch piece fresh ginger or galangal, minced. Zest of 1 lime. A quarter cup fresh cilantro leaves. A quarter cup fresh basil leaves. A quarter cup fresh coriander leaves. A quarter cup water, to blend paste. For the curry. 1 tablespoon vegetable oil or coconut oil. 400 milliliters coconut milk, 1 can. 2 tablespoons Thai green curry paste, store-bought or homemade. Half a cup chicken or vegetable broth. 300 g chicken breast or thigh, sliced thinly, or substitute with tofu or shrimp. 1 cup mixed vegetables, like bell peppers, zucchini, snap peas, or baby corn. 1 cup Thai eggplants or regular eggplants, cut into small chunks, optional. 1 tablespoon fish sauce, or soy sauce for a vegetarian version. 1 teaspoon brown sugar. Fresh basil and cilantro leaves, for garnish. Lime wedges, for serving. To serve. Steamed jasmine rice. Instructions. Make the green curry paste, optional. Toast coriander and cumin seeds in a dry pan until fragrant, then grind them into a powder. Blend with all other curry paste ingredients until smooth, adding water as needed. Set aside. Cook the curry. Heat oil in a large skillet or pot over medium heat. Add 2 tablespoons of the green curry paste and cook for 1 to 2 minutes until fragrant. Stir in the coconut milk and chicken broth, mixing well with the paste. Add the chicken pieces and simmer for 5 to 6 minutes, or until the chicken is almost cooked. Add vegetables and seasoning. Add the mixed vegetables, eggplants, if using, fish sauce, and brown sugar. Stir well and simmer for another 5 to 7 minutes or until the vegetables are tender and the chicken is cooked through. Garnish and serve. Remove from heat and sprinkle with fresh basil and cilantro leaves. Serve with lime wedges for an extra burst of freshness. Serve. Serve the curry hot over steamed jasmine rice. Enjoy this Thai green curry, packed with creamy coconut flavor and vibrant spices. Irish-style pizza slices, with toppings like black pudding or smoked salmon. Irish-style pizza slices, with unique Irish-inspired toppings. Ingredients For the pizza dough, or use store-bought. 2 cups all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 3 quarters cup warm water. 1 teaspoon sugar. 1 teaspoon active dry yeast. 1 tablespoon olive oil. For the toppings. 1 cup mozzarella cheese, shredded. 1 cup cheddar cheese, shredded. A quarter cup caramelized onions. A quarter cup cooked and crumbled black pudding, optional, but very Irish. Half a cup thinly sliced potatoes, lightly parboiled to soften. A quarter cup sliced mushrooms. A quarter cup sliced bell pepper. Fresh rosemary or thyme, for garnish. Salt and pepper, to taste. For drizzling. Olive oil. Balsamic glaze or honey, optional for a sweet touch. Instructions. Prepare the dough. In a small bowl, dissolve sugar and yeast in warm water. Let sit for about 5 minutes until foamy. In a mixing bowl, combine flour and salt, then add the yeast mixture and olive oil. Knead for about 5 to 7 minutes until smooth. Cover and let rest for 1 hour or until doubled in size. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit 245 degrees Celsius and, if you have one, place a pizza stone in the oven to preheat as well. Prepare the toppings. Lightly parboil the potato slices for 5 minutes, then pat dry. Cook the black pudding in a skillet and crumble it if using. 
Caramelize the onions in a bit of olive oil over medium heat until soft and golden. Assemble the pizza. Roll out the dough to about a quarter inch thickness on a lightly floured surface. Place on a baking sheet or pizza stone. Drizzle a little olive oil on the dough and sprinkle lightly with salt. Layer with mozzarella and cheddar cheese, then add the potatoes, caramelized onions, black pudding, mushrooms, and bell peppers. Season with salt, pepper, and a sprinkle of fresh rosemary or thyme. Bake the pizza. Bake for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the cheese is melted and bubbly and the crust is golden. Finish and serve. Drizzle with a little balsamic glaze or honey for a sweet balance, optional. Slice and enjoy these Irish-style pizza slices warm. This Irish-inspired pizza combines hearty and flavorful toppings with a classic cheesy base, making it a comforting and unique take on pizza. Classic Ice Cream Cones, Irish Dairy Ice Cream with Unique Flavors Classic ice cream cones at home with creamy vanilla ice cream and a crisp, homemade cone. Ingredients For the vanilla ice cream 2 cups heavy cream 1 cup whole milk 3 quarters cup granulated sugar 1 tablespoon pure vanilla extract Pinch of salt For the ice cream cones 2 large egg whites Half a cup granulated sugar Half a cup all-purpose flour 2 tablespoons unsalted butter, melted 2 tablespoons milk Half a teaspoon vanilla extract Pinch of salt Instructions Make the vanilla ice cream if you have an ice cream maker. Mix ingredients In a mixing bowl, whisk together the heavy cream, whole milk, sugar, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt until the sugar is fully dissolved. Churn the ice cream. Pour the mixture into an ice cream maker and churn according to the manufacturer's instructions, usually about 20 to 25 minutes. Freeze the ice cream. Transfer the churned ice cream to an airtight container and freeze for at least 2 hours or until it's firm. Make the ice cream cones. Prepare the cone batter. In a medium bowl, whisk the egg whites and sugar until well combined. Add flour, melted butter, milk, vanilla extract, and salt, stirring until smooth. Cook the cones. Heat a nonstick skillet over medium heat, or use a cone maker if you have one. Pour a small amount of batter into the pan, about 2 tablespoons, and spread it thinly in a circle, about 5 to 6 inches wide. Cook for 2 to 3 minutes on each side until lightly golden. Shape the cones. While still warm, quickly shape the cooked circle into a cone by rolling it around a cone mold or similar object. Hold it for a few seconds until it sets in the cone shape. Repeat with the remaining batter. Assemble the ice cream cones. Scoop and serve. Scoop the vanilla ice cream into each cone, filling it generously. Serve immediately and enjoy. These homemade ice cream cones are crispy and flavorful, with a classic vanilla ice cream that's smooth and creamy.